guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another charity shop haul. Now I've been a bit busy and I have got a fair bit of stuff but before we go into that side of the video I will just show you some other bits and bobs I got. So I was very kindly sent two handbags by a brand called Naranka something like that. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out if you would like to. Now, I just fell in love with the design of these and this is a sustainable brand where none of the handbags are leather and they're all kind of sustainably sourced fabrics and materials. Um, and I fell in love with this sort of, I got it in black and white because I thought it was a really, really good staple. And then they're just a really unusual style and I just really liked it. So this is the first one. So they come with dust bags as well, in case you're interested. So they have little dust bags, and this is the creamy white one. So they're just a magnetic closure, just like that. The only thing I do, sometimes with bags like this, I prefer them to be like fully zipped up so that people can't put their hands in. But I found a way around that because quite a few bags are like this. I just put a zipped component inside the bag, and then because it's got the magnetic thing in the middle, people won't be able to like, pull that bit out but so that's the cream one I just really love the geometric kind of folds in it like, isn't that cute it almost looks like it should be able to fold into like other shapes and I love the sort of size of it it's just like a really like easy to wear kind of little bag and then I also got it in black so if I just open it up it's like Christmas all over again so. da, da, da. And here we have the black one. So they do do some other style handbags as well in case these aren't your thing, but I just fell in love with these ones. Look at that. Like, isn't that fun? I'm trying to show it to you guys so you can actually see it. Like, they're just so classic. I feel like they'll just go with everything. So I just thought I'd throw them in at the start here to share with you guys because I thought they were, they're just awesome additions to a wardrobe because they, they literally are just staples. I really love the straps and the straps are adjustable so you can make them longer or shorter but they can't go like super long and turn into a crossbody they are just um, shoulder bags but yeah I just I thought they were really sweet so I ended up getting them um so that's those now let's jump into the charity shop haul so I did my best to try and stick with the changing weather and do like an autumnal haul so I'm trying to get into those sort of like nice like burgundies and like deeper colours but we'll see how I did. I think it's still a bit of a transitional haul. But I'll start with the non-clothing items. So I did get a batch of ties. So you guys might have seen I posted how you can turn ties into hair scrunchies recently. And it worked so well and I've been wearing those scrunchies non-stop. So I went to my local charity shop, bought a ton of ties that I thought would work as really nice scrunchies. And they're all like silks and things so I got this uh, nice stripy one. I'm not sure if I'll turn this one into scrunchies. I might make an ammonite like toy out of it. Sounds strange, I know, but I have a geology YouTube channel if you're interested in like fossils and rocks, which I'll link down below. It'll make more sense once you see that side of me. I'm also obs obsessed with rocks. Um, but these are the scrunchy ones. So I thought this could make quite a cool scrunchie. So it's almost like butterfly wings. So I got that one. I then got like a plain, like really deep forest green one. Then this like patterned red blue cream. Then this polka dot one, which I think is going to make a gorgeous scrunchie. Like that just looks like scrunchie patterning to me. Then I got the exact same tie um, as you saw first, but in blues. So they obviously came as a pair. And then I got this like pink one as well, because I have quite a few like nice little pink dresses. And I thought in the summer could be really cute to have like some pink scrunchies. And then the final one I got is this like crazy pattern one just like that so one of my local charity shops they just get an abundance of ties in and when i said to them that i wanted to use them for a craft project they gave me all these ties for two pounds and i was like hallelujah that is i think i've got one two three i have, i'm gonna have like 16 scrunchies at the end of this which is awesome so they're the scrunch well they're the ties that will become scrunchies but i'll link the diy down below in case you're like what is she talking about you can turn ties into scrunchies very easily. So check that video out if you would like to. And then I also got two pairs of high heels. Now for me, shoes are just, I have like, I don't have weird shaped feet, but high heels, they either fit me really, really well or they're just not an option. Um, Cause I have like wide toes. I know, first world problem. But I found these gorgeous suede like beige ones. 
but they are so comfortable and they're not too high. Like these are perfect for kind of like office wear or if I'm on my feet all day and want to like run away, like run around in kind of smart attire. These are brilliant. These ones were five pounds, but because they're like leather and super, super comfy, I didn't mind. And I will start saying what brands everything is. So these are by a brand called Hoggle. Never heard of it. So that's the brand. Just because a few of you commented on my previous hauls and rightly so, I never thought um, people would be interested in the brands that I find in charity shops. But you can like find, you might be able to find the item on like other reseller websites and things like that. So I will put the brands as well, just so you guys can hunt them down if you would like to. And then I got these black shoes, which I'm afraid are brandless, but they are so perfect. Like this like toe shape is just the perfect thing for my foot. However, they are disintegrating. So I don't know if any of you know much about shoes and how to save them, but let me see if I can get the light to show you inside the shoe. Uh, may maybe this way, maybe not. But basically the lining on the inside is deteriorating. So if I rub my fingers in there, you can see, oh, it's not gonna focus. Basically the black is like black powder. It's just completely disintegrating. So they're gorgeous. They cost me a whopping one pound and I'm gonna try and save them. I'm gonna like try and paint a adhesive on them of some sort that doesn't affect the movement of the shoe, but they're falling apart. So I have a feeling I might wear them once or twice and then that'll be the death of them. So that's that stuff. So I'll try those shoes on when I try on some of these outfits. So let's start with the crazy jumpers. So obviously I'm wearing one right now, but this one uh, is from Urban Revivo, which I think ASOS sell if you're interested. I got this like a year ago and I live in it. Like I love it. And so I found this bad boy in my chat shop. Look at that. So it's black with bright blue flames going up it and it is just the most me jumper ever. Like that with like a pair of leggings, it's just perfect. It's literally this jumper, but in black and blue. So I'm obsessed with it. So I'll throw this on now so you can have a look, but it is so soft, but miraculously, you won't believe it. It's only from Sheen. So Sheen obviously has a bad reputation, but if you buy it secondhand, it's, you know, I feel like it's acceptable, but I can't, it feels so lovely. I'm really impressed with it. So. Yeah, I don't think I've actually got many jumpers from Sheen before, but I wasn't expecting them to be so thick. Like this is a really nice feeling jumper, which surprised me. Bam. I literally, I feel like this jumper just looks like I've had it forever. Like it's just one of those kind of fits. It is a size large, but it's just so easy to throw over the top with like a pair of just like leggings and you're good to go. And then we can just style it with my new handbag. <laughs> They're just a really sweet little bag. I don't know. Let me know what you think of them. I just think they'll go with everything. So I think they're really cute. But I need to find a way. I need to put little pouches in them because otherwise everyone can grab my things, which is not good. But yeah, I'll pop those there. So yeah, no, absolutely. This jumper is just a total yes. And it cost me one pound. This jumper was a pound. Like, what? <laughs> I love it. So sticking with the jumpers, I got two more. So I got this very simple looking L one. So this is just lovely. I loved the like design of the knit at the top. I love things with like a turtleneck as well. I just thought as it gets colder, this is going to be so nice. And it's such a sleek color, like black with just a bit of writing. It's going to go with everything. So I loved that one. And then I also got this crazy one. So that L one is obviously by L. I think that is literally the brand. Yeah. Just, just double checking myself. Um, then I got this crazy red, like glittery one. Now this one almost gives me like Christmas bauble vibes. So this is gonna be great in November and December. And this is by Lauren Taylor, if any of you are interested, but this is so soft. Like the quality of this jumper is amazing. Like it just, you know when you can just feel a difference with a jumper, like this one, I feel it, like it's gorgeous. So um, yeah, I just couldn't leave that. I wanted to be a bauble. So let me throw those on for you. This is it on and I just think it's such a perfect fit. Like it fits the length of my arms perfectly. It's a lovely length. I think with just like a pair of jeans, I know I'm wearing navy leggings, which is just not a good look, but the actual like fit of it, I think is bang on. Like I, I'm just gonna live in this all like autumn and winter. It's so, it's just so lovely to wear. And I think it, it's pretty much brand new. Like you would never think this has had like any wear in it at all. Like this, this was one pound. 
it is fabulous. Now this one, it's so comfy to wear, but the neck, it, it, I don't know if I have like an abnormally large head that, you know, designers just don't think about, but to try and get this on, like this was a tight neck hole, um, but it, it is manageable. I just need to make sure I do my hair after I put the jumper on, like if I plan on wearing it around Christmas time. But um, the jumper itself is lovely. It's a little bit loose around my waist, but I think with like a nice pair of jeans, it kind of just, it, it's not a bad fit. Um, I think it's very much workable. So it just looks like that. But I kind of, I usually prefer my jumpers like just ever so slightly a bit more tailored or I like them like massively oversized. I, this is kind of like an in-between and I normally prefer them like one or the other, but I think it worked and I just, the fabric. <laughs> I mean, well, I say the fabric, the knit and the colour is just amazing. I know the light is like glaring on it, but it's so much fun. I feel like a disco ball and I love it. So they're all the jumpers I got. Um, and then I did get a jumper dress. So I'll show you that one next. So this is like, it's, it's not very thick, but it's really nice for when it's still like a little bit warm, but not like... It's not warm enough to justify not having like some knit on. So I feel like this will be really nice as like a loungewear option. So I'll throw this on for you now. This is what it looks like on. And I think it's just such a cute and easy fit. Like it is, it's probably a little bit short to wear, you know, in the kind of spring, summer with no tights. But I think with like a nice pair of like kind of black tights or even like navy tights or, or leggings, like it's just a really nice kind of longer jumper. I don't know. I just, I really like the fit of it and the color of the knit. Like, I just think it's really nice and I love the buttons. They're like almost like a leather brown. I don't know, it's just a really comfy fit. Like, I think if I'm working from home or just like want to lounge around all day, I much prefer something like this than maybe a pair of like trackies or joggers. I just think this has a much nicer, nicer vibe with it. So yeah, no, I absolutely love this one. This was very much a pound well spent, which I say for everything, but I mean it for this one as well. The next thing I got wasn't a pound. So this is a five pound item, but I just fell in love. I mean, look at that. It's just this burgundy faux fur jacket and oh, the color of it. I just, this is like my favorite color. So I have like matching boots to this, matching handbags. And I just think in like autumn and winter, when it's not raining outside, it's nice to kind of have like some funky coats. And this definitely ticks the box of being a funky coat. Like, I am in love with it. And I have, like, really long arms. Um, so normally coats don't actually come all the way up to my arms. But this is, like, pretty much a perfect arm length on me. Oh, and it's even matching my nails. Like, it's just meant to be. <laughs> so I fell in love with this. And I love the length of it. It actually, like, covers my lower back. So it's not, like, a cropped jacket or anything like that. So it will keep me warm. And... It was just too perfect. I mean, look at that. Like with some nice like high-waisted blue or black jeans. It's just such a perfect fit. I love it. I actually love it so much. I think it'll be so nice to wear just, yeah, all of autumn and winter. I think I'm gonna be wearing this coat. I love it and it's so soft. Like it's just so silky. Oh, I'm meant to be telling you brands of things. So I'm pretty sure this dress actually is brandless. Um, I, well, I say brandless. It hasn't got any tags in it, so I can't tell you what the brand is. Um, but this jacket is Dorothy Perkins. It's Dorothy Perkins size 10, if that helps any of you find it. But um, yeah, I'm just absolutely in love with this. <laughs> so the next thing I got is actually a kid's dress. So this is for a 13 year old and this is from New Look's kind of kid range. Um, but I thought 13 year olds and like kind of petite adults, we're, we're very similar sizes and this is a stretchy dress so I thought it'd be absolutely fine and I just fell in love with the kind of Aztec-y black and white design of it. Like I know it is a summer dress and we're coming into autumn winter now but this will be fine, like this will still fit me next year, touch, touch wood. Um, so yeah, I just kind of, I took a risk, a 50p risk I would like to add, so kids clothes are only 50p which it's just, it baffles me. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, let's throw this on and see what it looks like. This is what it looks like on and it is a perfect fit. Like it's literally just like wearing a t-shirt dress. You know, nowhere's too tight or too loose. I love the fabric. I think it's actually a really flattering kind of fit. Um, so now I'm really chuffed with this and I like that it's kind of high necked and you know, the arms are all out. I think this is just gonna be a really easy like throw on dress for the summer next year and you can just kind of run around in it all day long. I absolutely adore this dress. I think it's just such, 
such an easy thing to wear. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is a jumpsuit. Now this one is actually a size 12 um, and it's by Phase 8. So that's the brand there. Um, but I fell in love with the colour of this and it's like a really slinky fabric. And I was kind of thinking like even as like a loungy jumpsuit, being a bit oversized, it, I might get away with it. So because it's got like a waist belt, I kind of thought as long as I can cinch in my waist, having slightly larger like leg fabric or arm fabric, it's not going to be the end of the world. So um, I'll throw this on for you now, but it was only a pound and I just thought I might be able to make that work. So let's just put it on. So it is a bit big, but I'm totally feeling this jumpsuit. Like it has pockets. I'm in love with the color of it. And you would never know it's a size 12. Like the top of it kind of, it is a bit of a low neckline, but it actually fits. It fits absolutely fine. And it is just a slinky fit. Like the trousers, I don't think, I don't think you would look at this and think I'm wearing something like two to three sizes above what I would normally wear. Like I think it actually works really well. And I just paired it with the cream handbags. I love cream and kind of green together. I think that looks lovely. And then my new shoes as well. It's like just meant to be. So I've just got the kind of like beigey grey ones on. Tee. I just, I really like it. I think it kind of has like sassy work vibes with it. Like if I wore like a kind of bandeau under it. I don't know, I just, I really like this one. <laughs> and I quite like it being, yeah, I could literally lounge in this. It feels like I'm wearing pajamas, like to put it in perspective. This is like the comfiest jumpsuit ever. Like I can completely move in it. Nothing's restricted. I'm just, I'm free. I absolutely love this one. This one, yeah. I think I don't need to do anything to it either. A pound well spent, which I'm saying a lot, but it, it was well spent. So next I'm going to show you is... I've got a ton of skirts and a pair of trousers. So I'll show you them all first here and then we'll just do a mass try on. So I got these like yogurt pants and they're kind of elasticated at the base. And I live in trousers like this. Like this is the kind of pajamas that I'll go for. So I'll like, if I'm working from home, this is the type of thing I like to wear with just like little crop tops. So um, yeah, I loved the color of these. They're kind of like a bluey green. I just thought they were really fun. So I picked those up and then I'm just having a really successful time with skirts. So I got this gorgeous tartan one. So this is just a Primark. But this is a Primark size 4, which, uh, I mean, th this could be a very risque skirt, but I loved the tartan. And I think with, like, a black or, like, a, kind of like a dark green turtleneck could be a really cute fit. So I picked that up, and then I also picked up this skirt, which was also a pound but this is brand new H&M like this is still got its tag on like look at that but I fell in love with the print of this so it's got like really really glittery kind of like stars all over it like how fun is that and it is super stretchy so I thought this like under like with tights and like a jumper on top could be a really cute look then I also picked up this green suede skirt now this is also a Primark but this is a Primark size 8 so this is going to show you like inconsistency or brand sizing because apparently I can wear a Primark size 4 and a Primark size 8 which doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but it's just this gorgeous like suede green and it has a built in belt and I just, I'm obsessed with this, like absolutely love that one. And then I also picked up this, gr uh, I'm going crazy, I nearly called this green as well, this uh, royal blue mango skirt. So this is a, just a size small and it's just like a kind of like a knit fabric, um, just like a tube skirt. And I thought, I'm kind of thinking of playing with colour this uh, winter. So I'm thinking like with um, like a green knit jumper, like do like bright green and bright blue together. But I'll try all these on just with like a black crop top so you can like see the item. And then I'll probably do some styling videos in the future because why not? This is what they look like on and they are just the comfiest fit ever. Like I know they're, they're a bit of a crazy style. I probably look like I'm about to paint all day or something like that. But they're just so comfy. I just, I just love them so much. Like I wear them all the time. I love how high waisted they are. You've got the drawstring here so you can make them like, yeah, just a perfect fit for you. And I just love the colour of these ones. They were just too perfect not to have. I mean... <laughs> They're just a lovely fit and so easy to wear. So yeah, 
I recommend trying trousers like these massively. So this is how it looks like on, and don't get me wrong, it is a size four, so for me to get this on, it is quite a wiggle, but it's a perfect fit. Like, it's a really nice fit around my waist, and um, yeah, that's hard to find with so many things. So I'm really chuffed with the fit of this. It is on the short side, but I'm kind of thinking if I wore it with like thick black tights in winter with like knee high boots, I think it'll be a really like easy thing to wear. But no, I just, I really, really like it and I love the tartan and I think I just about get away with it. So if I style it right, I think I can make it work. But no, I just, it just fits so perfectly. So no, I am so happy with this one. This one is a little on the sheer side. So I think it will do really well, like over the top of tights. Um, but it's such an easy fit. Like it is so stretchy and it's just so comfortable to wear. And I love the fabric. Like it is so much fun, the kind of star like design of it. I just think it'll add like a bit of sparkle to my winter outfit. So no, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun like styling this one. And again, it's a really nice fit on my waist, just like the tartan one. I think it's just gonna be really easy to style and it's versatile. If I want to, I can go clubbing in it or I can wear it like every day as kind of casual, yeah, casual but fun winter wear. So no, it's a, yeah, a yes from me. So even though this is a size eight Primark, it, it was just as much of a wiggle to get on as the tartan one. So sometimes you have to just try on like various sizes in the same brand because they're not consistent, different fabrics stretch differently, different openings, different zip lengths. Like, yeah, sometimes you just have to give lots of sizes a go before you find perfect ones. And that's what charity shopping has shown me is that, yeah, you're never just one size. Like you can be anything from a four to a 12 because that's the range of sizes you've seen me wear just in this video alone. Or oh, actually, I've, I, the jumper was a large, the flame one. So you can literally be like such a range. Um, but I absolutely love this skirt as well. I love the fact it's got like a built-in belt, um, which you can tighten. So if I wanted to, I could cinch it in that little bit more. But I love the kind of suede fabric and I think it's a really nice fit. Like this is a good length. So I think I, I could wear this with kind of like slightly sheerer tights rather than like really thick winter tights and nice little boots and yeah, job done. Oh, and a top of some sort, like a nice turtleneck. But I just love, I love, I love mini skirts so much, but being like quite hippie, um, it's really tricky to find skirts that allow me to wear them like all day long because I'll be like constantly pulling them down but I just, I can't stop buying them. I love them so much. So I'm just always gonna be wiggling. It's just the way it goes. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the gorgeous blue one. Now this is just such an easy fit. I think we'll look quite funky with either like a nice shirt sort of tucked into it to make it like almost look like a dress or like a jumper over the top. I, I think I can style this, style this into like winter autumn autumn winter even um but i'm not yeah if not i'll just wear it in the summer it will double up as like a party skirt or just like turned into like summery looks but i think with this kind of knit fabric i can work it into my winter looks but we're gonna work on that in future videos but i love how it fits it's just such an easy thing to wear like it's literally just like a tube and it's not too tight it's not too loose and i think it just really flatters flatters my shape so no i love this one but that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's haul. It's been quite a big one, actually. I've done pretty well recently, so I really hope you enjoyed seeing everything I got. Um, but I hope you're all doing well. I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. And I do have a second channel, which is all about my academic side of my life, so my geology, because I am a geologist, funny enough. So if you like rocks or earth science, go check that out if you'd like to. It's just called M Gems. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.